Hello YouTube and welcome back to Ground Force Place KSP and in previous episode we have surveyed the Minmus and we have gotten 337 science out of it which we will be spending now so uh, let's examine high power electrics mmm nice miniaturization maybe space exploration not just now landing okay that might be interesting so let's take that aerodynamics propulsion systems possibly heavy rocketry that i definitely want to take mm, yes and then i have 157 science for even heavier rocketry propulsion systems advanced flight system well that is the one that i wanted to have for a while space exploration miniaturization i think i'm gonna go with advanced flight systems to be honest it gives me some capsules and some much needed sas good because the follow-up to the previous mission that would have been the uh you know the uh, the Minmus uh, flyby would be to go and actually land on the damn thing and uh, since I want to take the materials bay I want to make take the capsule that could take two Kerbals one pilot and one uh, scientist obviously that could be resetting the experiments then we don't need to take them as many so right now let's put in the mystery goo I, I put them two of them just in case I cannot get to one Heat shield at the bottom, yes. Stack decoupler, yes please. Two hot thermometers, I always put them in pairs just to be on the safe side. Like I said, I'm pretty confident that I won't be using it, so let's put the science bay at what? Yeah, you go here, no? maybe yes oh make up your mind damn you so can i put the fairing like this yes good then i'm gonna be placing yeah i'm gonna pancake the two of you just uh, not right now cross section okay I forgot how to place trusses, I have to double check, but it doesn't matter, I'll do it this way. Uh, materials bay, good, and then you connect here. Place the cross section, close the fairing. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be working that way, but um, I'm gonna roll with it for the time being. Now, fuel tank, yes. Engines. Poodles, no. I'll not take poodles. Terriers. All kinds of beastie hounds. Uh, shall we take poodles rather than terriers? I don't know how aggressive they are. Uh, no. Let's see, what engines could I take then? Thuds, yes. In the case of a better dog, we will take thud. Sure. 2.83 meters per second. On Minmus, that will be 253. Uh, yeah, just kidding. But uh, illuminators, I do want some landing lights. It would be really nice to have some lights shedding the lights on the subject. So yeah, sure. Again, decoupler. And then we need some uh, beefy engine that will take us there. So what's the beefiest that I have of 1.8 meter? Is it the 900 tank? Well, that's not overly impressive now, is it? What if I put two of them? Or maybe three of them? Bobcat. Are you sure that you, Mr. Bobcat, aren't an imposter between all these hounds? I don't know. Sounds like it to me. Never mind. Uh, then we have these uh, two engines. Yes. Thrust weight 1.52. That's good enough in my book, I would say, because this would be an upper stage anyway. And now we have to figure out the lower stages of the thing. And that would be these guys. So... Something just to get it going. Let's 
three point half thou three and a half thousand meters per second. Would that be enough to get to Minmus? I don't know, honestly. I don't think so. But nevertheless, uh, we will do a test. Uh, so we will be testing that this guy gets to orbit, how it performs, how it looks, does it work and whatnot. So that would be kind of the first test anyway. I like to test my craft before I actually launch them and it will be before I launch it to Minmus. I want to see how much this rocket will have remaining Delta V anyway. So yeah, landing legs, sure. Communication, I want a longer range communication, put somewhere about here, or like that, but higher. Oh, that's uneven, that's gonna bug the hell out of me, won't it? Yeah, let's put the nose cones, please. Let's put the fins, yes, that's what they're called apparently. All right, these fire simultaneously for a total of 2.16, yes, two, you know, holders. And let's call this guy XP Minmus Explorer, because they will be Explorer, enter ship description, a ship that will take two Kerbals to Minmus, hopefully. 3.4 thousand meters per second, not overall impressive but should be enough to get us to orbit at least jebediah and bill just going for a quick launch uh, one thing that i wanted to check though and change is the which i almost forgot would be the batteries we don't have any power generation or power production and that's definitely something that i need correcting so batteries first yes i almost launched and almost forgot and then photovoltaic panels. I want to place them somewhere where they can be of no hindrance to anybody else. So, right about here. And uh, let's action group them. One means that. Perfect. Now, we should be probably thinking about checking the staging just to be on the safe side. Okay, to me that looks perfectly safe. Yeah, good, let's kick it. SAS on, throttle to max. SAS on, throttle to max, and then hit it. Alright, Thru thrust to weight ratio is 1.8, scaled back, so that we don't consume too much fuel. Jeb and Bill are going up, Jeb is looking happy, Bill is looking slightly concerned. Realizing that he is flying in a tiny, teeny drop pod with some uh, already lit matchsticks and um, some metric gallons of fuel that could be blowing any minute. Yeah, fun stuff. Okay, ditching the SRBs, kicking the full gas, and let's see. How will we proceed if everything will be going fine in terms of our Delta V and going up, 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 up. So our apoapsis is rising, 37 at the moment, so we should be tilting downwards, ever so carefully. Alright, so... 800 minutes passing 800 meters per second some more and apoapsis is passing 80 when it gets to 100 as always i will cut the engines and uh, hopefully fix the maneuver node i mean it's a rather simple rocket so 
everything should be going fine for the test. Fair enough, 82 kilometers, put it to 100 and then we see how much Delta V we have left. All right, that's 1164, so we will have around 200 Delta V. That's, in my book, that's not enough to get us to Minmus, but it should be enough to deorbit, at least, so that we don't need a rescue mission of uh, for Jeb and Bill. And our maneuver node burn is in 1 minute 10 seconds. Getting ready for the burn. Hitting the burn. Staging and let's hope that we will be able to circularize. Thrust to weight, we are golden. I mean, thrust to weight wise, we are golden. By the way, guys, so you know, um, it's not my idea posting normally this test episode. That was I have been doing when I had permadeath enabled and everything, which is not the case here. But uh, the plan was to put this all in one episode with uh, Min going to Minmus, that's supposed to be airing right after this one. But the episode was too long and I'm really committed to the up to 30 minutes around, keeping it around 25 minute mark. So that's why I decided to against a 50 minute episode and just going for the test. And uh, because of that reason, I will probably be posting the next episode shortly to follow this one. Meaning I won't leave you hanging for long because awesomeness cannot wait and awesomeness in terms of going to Minmus cannot wait. Once we already designed this, it shouldn't be fair to you, my viewers, that you wait for another week until that happens. So you should be getting this episode one day after this one. So just to put it out for the record. All right, performing some science. Trying to get as much as we can from the science wise and then Jebediah. We are coming soon on uh, over the continent. I want to catch the EVA report, not above water, but above continent, so. EVA report, come on. Still. Close, but not cigar. No cigar. Soon enough, though. Haha, Kerbin Shores. Perfect. Those are these biomes that are harder to reach. And Kerbin's grasslands, look at that. Store the experiments. Wonderful. Oh, this is just space near Kerbin. Okay, so this one is not sensitive to the biome. Fair enough. All right, that pretty much leaves us uh, position. This way. All right. 
right, let's deorbit. detached with our periapsis being already low enough and we will be performing the return. doing some science on the way down. Fifty-seven, and now we will be testing the re-entry capabilities and maybe even do some science. Who knows? Hitting the time warp, you really don't need to watch everything live, you know. And there we go. Just let everything align nicely. I wonder if these lights will actually withstand the heats and the rigors of atmospheric entry. kilometers and coming down landing ever so softly seven hundred and we will be soon enough. Three hundred meters coming down. Once again, guys, sorry this is kind of a shorter and just a test episode. As all as I said, I won't be doing this. It's more of a design of the lander, but uh, since we exceeded the time, I had to do it this way. Of course, we will have it fixed in the next episode where we will be taking this wonderful craft to Minmus. And I obviously have to update the rocket booster beneath because this won't have enough uh, panache or juice to get it anywhere further than the low carbon orbit. Obviously. Uh, doing some science experiments just to gather every single ounce counts. So, override crew report? No. Collect everything and then do the crew report. Yes, please. Kerbin's Highlands. Oh, good. I didn't know that we were in the Highlands. Perfect. EVA report. Space it is not necessary, but you don't have it, buddy. So the surface sample and coming back. Let's recover the vessel. How much science did we get? I reckon not much, but enough to give us uh, one more unlock node. So... Yeah, with that thing being said, as always, guys, you know what to do. Like if you like this episode, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.